Falcon! Did you make it inside? Yeah. All in one piece. <sighs> Got it. Meet you in a tick. <sighs> no rush. It's uh, nice and cozy in here. Not so much when you can't see in the dark. Ah, I think I felt the panel. Yeah, there's wiring in there. See if I can get the systems back on. How long is this gonna take? Oh, come on! Lark and tensor joint, just neat. Uh, wiggle the... Okay, so life support's moving back up. What's it look like out there? Oh, mother of space bugs. It's just... Bots. You don't know. Thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Saw! We saw some cleaner bots. <laughs> accidentally. At a distance. <laughs> we're totally all right. They just ran away when it saw us. Right, Quill? Rocket, I'm not so sure that swarm thing was inoffensive. I feel kind of bad about releasing it. <laughs> Quill took a pot. This massive worm nest. A chunk of something fell off and the big floaty creature came out of it. That's all. It would suck to get busted in here. You know, with just one exit. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Chirago job. I am Groot. Quill's dumb enough to lead us into a trap, but don't sweat it. Ain't nobody knows we're here. Ha! Here you go. Rendezvous coordinates are that way. But we'll have to find a way around the rubble. I'll try to find a side passage. Hey, Groot, <laughs> how do you make a dead Shatari flow? I'm Groot. Take your foot off its head. I'm Groot. Look at this old beauty. I am Groot. A table. This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe I can fix up your gear. 
Hey, hand me that part. And it's done! Yeah, it's a way through, if we can clear out that crud. Oh yeah! Nailed it! <clears throat> and, uh... Thanks for the upgrade. All right, let's squeeze our way out of here. So, that thing we set free... Uh, what thing? I didn't see a thing. Uh, definitely don't want to talk about no thing. Probably. You guys hang back a sec. Well, Scott! Ugh! This place is crawling with ugly! Guys! I'm not alone down here! Holy crap! This is the most punchable thing I've ever seen! <laughs> yeah. That was like something out of a horror movie! That was amazing! Team Rocket! Finally. We couldn't hear you before. Something about the mining ship's been messing up our comms. Yeah, something really ain't right in here. And Quill fell down another hole! Another one. I'm parking the Milano, but Drax is out there searching for you. Maybe you'll find Quill before we do. We're trying to catch up to him! Guys, we really need to get better at the buddy system. She is not my buddy. I will find you, Peter Quill. Describe your surroundings. Uh, old metal, old mining equipment, just... old. Noted. <clears throat> what a weird bunch of stuff to mine. What was it? I don't know. Weird QB hunks of rock or metal. Peter Quill, I have located some old equipment, but I do not see you. This whole place is old equipment. That does not narrow my search. You two have any luck? It is not a question of luck. Peter, make some noise so we can find you. Drax? Drax! Hey, you want to mute your comms if you're going to scream your lungs out? Sharp 
adventures have grown dull, pointy one! Great work! Now let's finish it off! Hope the more I can find us too! I do not share your hope. Sounds of battle. No, Peter, Rack, where are you? Did I hear blasters? You're good. <laughs> Save some for me. Not gonna be a problem. Toss him around! He must strike the large one with more force! My turn! Indeed. You greenies found Quill yet? Found and saved. Hey. Go on ahead then. We'll catch up. Just making a uh, pit stop. I parked the Milano near the last thumper spot. We'll head that way and keep an eye out for you. How's my baby? You can see for yourself if we can get back up there. I could make it up there, but we're gonna need something for you two to climb up on. It is a wonder the Nimble Assassin has not abandoned us already. Drax. At least he called me Nimble. It was not intended as a compliment. Anyone got any bright ideas? If you're not gonna use that visor, give it to me. She covets the forbidden knowledge of your magic glasses, Peter Quill. If we can get this thing down, it should give us the extra height we need. All right, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It's a possibility. Maybe try something else. Ahead. I was already up there. We just need something so you guys can climb up. Will that shipping container work? It would prove sufficient for me. I'm not suspended in the air. You think we can cut it? It's beyond the scope of my knives, but the assassin's deceptive agility may prove of use. Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this! Physically impossible. Drax, think you can heft that container? Behold the might of a Katathian warrior! Well, that's helpful. I did as our leader bid. Not all of us are so quick to disobey. Make up your mind. Are you mad I served Thanos or that I betrayed him? Neither inspire confidence.
Heave ho, Drax. Gladly. Need your muscles again, Drax. I will drop it where you command. Can you move it over there? Shall be done. down here. Done. Remember this moment should you ever think of crossing the assassin. All right, Rocket. We're back on track. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, good for you. I am good. It ain't stealing if it's abandoned. We... Oh, Flark. Rocket. Not now, Quill. Rocket. Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague, it was... rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen would reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. I disagree. Strength is endearing. I bet it's something cute. Women dig the cute stuff, right? Yes. All women in the entire universe get weak in the knees when they see something fluffy. Lady Hellbender is an exceptional female. She would desire only the most worthy of pets. You've never seen a baby otter playing with its hands. I cannot refute this. Ever see the remains of a planet after one of these things, mind it? They mined whole planets? Everybody needed war resources as fast as possible. Many systems out there are now just scattered debris. Were those systems uninhabited? Depends on who was doing the drilling. notice anything weird about this place? You mean besides the comms going dead for no reason? There was a reason. You collided with that column of scrap. You what? I was dodging a hailstorm of flaming debris. And the comms went out before that. and they're gonna bring us down. Who's with me? You are Unfortunately, we well, are! Told you we could do this! Okay, so you were right 
know my senses are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibration really no i'm tracking it on my display the milano should be right on the other side of this door it was open when i came through here who says i tripped on something murder mom probably closed the door behind her excuse me My blades are eager to meet this monster. Remember, we take it alive. No accidents this time. I don't want a repeat of your mod. Your mod was not an accident. I simply did not agree that the Snark's mercenary deserved to live. It looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. Watch a genius at work. You are a miracle worker, man. This tech was built by people who make holes in giant floating space rocks. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. Never been a problem for Quill. What do we do if this monster turns out to be sapient? We would likely receive higher compensation. Hey, we ain't caging nothing that can complain about. You and Groot are ex-bounty hunters. I am Groot. I am Groot. Yeah, yeah. This is it. Last spot. Wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, sunshine. <laughs> Ow! Is it uh doing it? What? It appears to be broken! Ain't nothing broke! That's the sound it's supposed to make! What sound? You can't hear that! Hear what? Our monster. Hey, that thing's fast! Don't let it get behind you. It could be poisonous. Lady Hellbender will pay extra for this poisonous. Somebody just grab it! I'm trying, Peter! I can barely see it! Abomination! Perhaps you speak its language. Ugly, smelly, it has more than you! Well... We should have brought a net! 
Remind me to build a net launcher next time. Six attacks! Face me! Maybe try calling it like a pet. Here, monster! Who's a good monster? Bad creature! Come and face your punishment! any of the other uglies here. This one's something special. I have missed the thrill of the hunt. This is why I only hunt people. Hold them down, Chris! <laughs> what the flark is that? Definitely not a monster. Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state-of-the-art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. I seeing what I'm seeing? Yes. Now that is a monster. All right. Enough with the warm up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. His name is that. Definitely not cleaner bots. Watch it! The whole place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here! Now! Curse these volatile ruins! Tracks, go! Constructed. Someone give me a hand. Am I right? How about one upside the head? Heads up! We have debris incoming! Blow it away! Well. Time to thread the needle. Don't even think about it! This way through is through. Peter! You're dying with a guilty conscience, assassin. Don't you get goo on my ship. My ship. Look, that's it. Let me drive. You're gonna get us killed. We're not dead yet. Maybe we are, and this is hell. Do not be ridiculous. This place lacks the eternal frost of the Sartu. Your hell is frozen? The Tathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt. See? He's so... Group says watch out! Yeah, thanks for the heads up! You want me to take the control? No, I've got this! Clearly! Watch it! Don't get us killed, Well, There's still so much stuff I want to steal! Stretch! Go! 
From. Means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. Don't be Nova Corps, please don't be Nova Corps, please don't be Nova Corps. It is Nova Corps. Say Hallow's Hope. Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Uh, not really. No. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently? Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Nice to see you too, Corral. <laughs> Funny story, actually. The nav crapped out and routed us through the quarantine zone. Your navigation malfunctioned. What can I say? As soon as we noticed the air, we plotted a course out, and that's when you showed up. Right. Peter Quill. I found these items in the, uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill, of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please, tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech. More than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a Class Three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide the llama. What? What about my stuff? Rocket, I know Corel. I'm pretty sure I can get her to go easy on us about the tech, but a potential biohazard? Man, I'm good, but I'm not that good. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, we were close. You just have to trust me. I am good. And that would be her boarding party. no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Nova Corps licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, 
Bonafide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer, convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero, often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it. That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to. Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. Here goes Plan B. You don't need a plan B. I got this. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoner. Watch the jacket. Cadet Gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. Everyone just do what they say. When I see Corral, I'll explain... The it's... captain isn't going to see you. According to protocol, you're to be taken straight to the brig. Yeah, plan's going real good, Quill. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. Single the techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier Raker. Grand Unifier. Leader of the Church of Universal something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. All right, pirates. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. The difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Just to be no! super clear you on the mom... You, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. Easy, huh? <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> Thanks. 
Thanks. <laughs> Mom wouldn't be impressed if I lost my first prisoner. <laughs> Mom, right. Come on. We need to get out of here. There's a glass door around the corner. We'll be safe there. Here. Help me with this. 